What is up? Now that it is summertime, the air conditioner has been acting up. Uh, when it was early summer, you know, it seemed to be holding a refrigerant charge. I had to add some when I got the car, but not much. But I've been having some issues with it since it got warm when the pressures got higher. But yeah, it's like got a couple of leaks. Pretty sure that one's a leak, or it's beeping a little bit on low, too. Got to hold it to free air for it to calibrate. So it's definitely the other one to put it back on high. That one back there on the liquid line seems to really be screaming. That was a second ago. Especially when I wiggled the line, held it there and wiggled that line like it would be when the engine's running. Oh, maybe it was the suction one coming out. Yeah, that's the one that was screaming like that. Yeah, they might disconnect those four or five fittings and go match up the old rings at the park's house. Let's see what's up. Let me get some bubbles first. Well, couldn't really film myself using the tool one-handed, but pull the two fittings apart. Using the tools, you just put this around the line and then uh, close it up and push it in there and it opens up the spring so that this uh, little flaring in will pop out. The Ford doesn't mess around, man. They got three O-rings per line. Wow, no wonder they're 17 years old and it's just now leaking. I got a kit here, so I'm just going to replace them one by one. Place those there. Line here. There's two lines back there. Real fun. Hey, the bottom one's new. This is still old one. Just pulled off those three, matched them up with the kit, which I just put in there. Put on those three. Got a little bit of oil on it. And it's like a spokesman at all. Want it lubed up really good there. And this. Push back on there. It's a little spring deal. Hopefully that captured that. Now it's locked in place. So, time to do the next line. Same thing, just kind of peel them all off. I really need two hands. And one. Okay, got those. Got those three on and slathered up in some oil there. Out of that pipe's probably seen some better days. Let's see if I can clean that real quick. I'm going to my dad's for a little bit. All right. Huh? Mason's up here with Caitlin. That kitten's still hanging on. I can't even believe it. After that little rude interruption. <laughs> oh man, I need two hands again. Battery's low on the phone, so it doesn't want to turn on the OED light anymore. Basically, you just get that in there. It goes underneath the spring. There we go. And it just pops off. Yeah. And then the other connection down on the compressor. I don't think I'm going to mess with that way down in there. For right now, I'm just going to change these. I was getting pretty good peeping out of that fitting right there. The other end of the inlet to the accumulator coming out of the evaporator, so I'm going to have to unbolt the accumulator bolt uh, to loosen the accumulator so I can get that line to move. 
you want to see something cool. One of those tools I scored on trade a while back. These two extensions have that tapered ends, so it allows it allows a little bit of movement. Yet they stay on the secure. It's like having all those little wobble joints on the end. But it's built, but that's just the way the extension. Is. Wow, that was easy. That bolt's down there at an angle, and I just put that right in there. Let's see if we can get this off without dropping it. It does stay on there pretty good, but see that? Same thing, with, well, not that end. This end and this end, so it gives, gives you some angle. So that's how I was able to drop that down in there. It stays in there pretty good, I mean, almost lifts the weight of the drill. It's got a little ball on there. So, pretty cool. Get right down in there to get to that nut that was down. So I have to put a little wrench down in there. So far, so good. It's holding at 150 psi. Ready to blow the nitro and hook the vacuum pump up. There's a handful of yellow rings. A few of them got chucked, but. Seems to be holding pressure now. We'll find out when, once it's on the engine and with all the vibration going on. 